All right, time to react to episode two of Ao Ao Ashi. Sorry, I don't know why I have a hard time uh, pronouncing it. But yeah, anyway, so uh, I just got back from my training session, and uh, yeah, it's the holidays. Everything looks good. What can we hope for? You know, for the next year, we reflect a little bit about the mistakes that we've done uh, this last year, and uh, you know, we hope to make it better for the next one and so on. You know. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, get into the reaction. So yeah, basically now he is in Tokyo for the test for the uh, the thing. I don't remember the name of it, but uh, spelled in. So yeah, basically, as a recap for the first episode, he. I'm here to believe. Okay, no, I'm just gonna shut the fuck up. Try yes, do your team tryouts. By the way, I checked out the opening and I'm very saddened that I'm gonna have to skip this or at least, you know, mute it uh, for every reaction because this actually really slaps, you know? It it does, again, kind of gives you these uh, haiku vibes, you know? Cheerful uh, team sports football vibes, you know? Which is good. Good, you know. I feel like blue the blue lock experience as someone who doesn't know shit from shit about football uh, can ruin your uh, Jesus. Damn, this is really good. It can ruin kind of uh, your experience uh, watching Ao Ashi, maybe. But uh, yeah, in general, you know, it's real. It's they're very different. They're very different, you know. I really liked the first episode. It didn't slap as hard as the first episode of Blue Lock because they're very different. The premise of it is very different as well. <laughs> but I will, I will probably, what do you think? Do you think I should make a video? Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to make a video about it later, you know, comparing the two and uh, clearing the air around all the misconceptions about Blue Lock as well and Ao Ashi in general, you know, because I've seen a lot of people trashing on Ao Ashi being like a team thing in comparison to Blue Lock, but uh, it just, it just means that you didn't, you didn't understand shit from shit about Blue Lock, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna say it right here, even though I've only seen one episode of Ao Ashi. If you're trashing this shit, and, and uh, because of Blue Lock, it means that um, you didn't get Blue Lock, and you don't get football in general. And you're probably American, sorry about that, that may have been racist, but you know. But then I'm, oh, that's true. <laughs> Valderrama, I think it was a, a Colombian footballer. Yeah, he was very good at passing, uh, at assistance. He had some crazy assists. I think, if I'm not mistaken, either Colombia or, um, what's it called? Or Venezuela, one of the two. He was, uh, had like moustache and like a rasta thing, blonde hair. <laughs> anyway, yeah, kind of like the uh, dimension of uh, historically underrated players. Hmm. Damn, only the best is you know. This motherfucker is a defender. Like, there's no doubt about it. By the way, that's actually true, I think. The more you go into the attack in terms of football animes, you know, in, that, in a formation, the better looking the character is. The more <laughs> you go into defense, the more they look like a, like a monk or a baldy. <laughs> It is good. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's weird. I've never seen a good-looking defender in football <laughs> for my animes. And the Emperor's Cup points. Nah, this is a breath of fresh air, not gonna lie. Away from Blue Lock, at least uh, until, you know, next week when it comes back. It's good to have an anime like that. There's a risk. Oh, yeah, that's actually true. Like this is kind of like the Barcelona style. Style of play as you train. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I love it. I love it. They're really starting from the very, very basics in terms of football in general as a player and as a club. <laughs> nice. That's a great speech. Ha. On your above you. Still play to our your team. Damn. Scouted one medicine from trials. We got promoted from junior team. <sighs> In the Hague. <laughs> Basically, they get the best out of the best from the, a very young age and they raise them. It's hard to believe in that person. <sighs> Scouted players. What's that look at for France and players? Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, what what the fuck did you expect? These are tryouts. But yeah, exactly. You're right, but you came here to take a chance, but it's a very slim possibility. Yeah. It's so fucking cruel, yet it's so fucking beautiful. I love it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I love the soundtracks too. Kind of giving me a uh, Boku no Hero Academia vibes. Like that. <laughs> yes, sir! <laughs> and that's a speech. <laughs> oh, there is. God damn. <laughs> How many thought? Jesus Christ, genius forward. What? I'm gonna keep him my shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was getting fun, isn't it? What's that? <laughs> Let's go. That's the mentality of it. It's about 50%, if not more than that, in your mentality and your 
state of mind at that moment. Then again, it's no, it's no blue lock either. <laughs> It's not like they're going to lose everything if they don't get uh, snapped. <sighs> you fucked up, Jesus. Oh my god. I just... Oh, all of this just feels so fucking... I do it all by myself. You're trying your best and then you're looking at the coach to see if they're looking at you. And when you make a mistake, you're, you're looking around to see if they saw you make a mistake and stuff like that. Oh my god. It's just... All of it is just so fucking stressing. I think so, I can see that. <laughs> Close. Oh, Jesus Christ! Remember this one? To sign him up. Damn! This is all for that motherfucker. Jesus! Everybody's just working on on, on themselves. You fucking suck up. Nah, I was going for the other guy because I was taking this choice. He put out Ashi. Ow, uh, Jesus. Ashi. Ashi thought, or whatever the fuck his name is. Make sure team were with each other. No, if you're A game, it's next to impossible. Yeah. Stop playing this. Please. Yeah. He's putting him in that situation. Or just I never to think there until yeah. <laughs> nah, it's just analyzing that shit. You have to come all the way out here. He put in that position for uh, for a reason. They're showing a lot of crowds too, like there's a symbolism, symbolism to it. All skill. These guys. Let's go! Alright! Oh, I see. The uh, eye of the crowd. <laughs> Looking at motherfuckers from the... Uh, from up top. So they're panicking. I'm not gonna lie, even I don't have all that many, that much idea. Oh, he's pulling them to that part in order for, to make space for the, uh, the other one, I guess, from the side, or for himself. His own goal. His own goal. Yeah, I see, okay. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> but I gotta say, I have a bit of a... <laughs> I gotta criticize the choice of animation. If they had any choice at all. We can clearly see the angle where he was, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Bird's eye, okay. <laughs> then again, in that position, when uh, you're basically in front of your own goal, you kind of have the best view. Nice. 
<laughs> yeah, that's the question you need to ask. I made the cut. <sighs> yeah. Damn. That's actually a good point uh, to show the actual conversation that comes behind the doors of uh, these trials and stuff like that. That they actually focus on stuff outside of skills. Even so much in it. Damn, so that motherfucker is hardly gonna make the cut. If he does. <laughs> Now that's, now that's a quote. Intuition but different. Yeah. Very nice. That kind of, man, is what I think in read. It kind of, uh... It's actually true of any sports, especially in football, but uh, it reminds me, the first time I've seen this sort of quote in, uh, it's her brother, yeah. That other guy, it's been awful long time. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it kind of reminded me of Hajime Ippo's quote, actually, uh, about um, not thinking in a fight because you've already done the thinking in your training. You've punched a billion times in training. So uh, when you get into a fight, you've dodged a billion times in training. So you don't actually think about crosses and and uh and punches when you are uh, in a boxing match i'm just paraphrasing here but uh, it went something like this so i like uh, how they uh, put that or uh, how they uh, portray that in football okay this the ending is much much less exciting than the opening as per usual Anyway, so uh, yeah, that was the second episode. Again, a slow start. I believe it will uh, pick up around four or fifth episode and then we'll see some really nice hype shit. Now, uh, for now, it's, it's, it's good build up and uh, we get to see a few nice every time. I think, yeah, I, I believe every time we watch an episode, we get to see a glimpse of new concepts about football, which can be really good for uh, people who uh, haven't ever watched it, especially those who uh, call it soccer. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's that's good to uh, to watch. It's kind of like when you watch uh, Hajime no Ippo, you don't know shit about it, but uh, in the 10 first episodes, it's kind of, it, it starts building up quite slowly, but it is very entertaining to, to discover a new sport in a very nice portrayed way, you know, in an anime like this. So, uh, yeah, I don't understand people who don't watch this. If, if, if you've liked Blue Lock and you actually understand, in fact, you don't even have to like Blue Lock, honestly. If you, if you understand anything about football or this is, this is an anime for everyone, you know, it, this is nice. This is very nice. And, um, uh, yeah, what else do I have to comment on uh, about this episode? Yes, the fact that he has uh, a good vision, kind of like, um, what was he called? Uh, Isagi. But it's very different. This is more of a forward midfielder, if not midfielder vision. This is more broad than Isagi's vision. I don't think they are even to be compared at all. Like A striker like Isagi is, does not have that kind of vision as much as a midfielder. So uh, yeah, they are very different. They have very different styles. And even though uh, this motherfucker is kind of a hog and he doesn't like, or he doesn't intuitively pass a lot, but he does intuitively pass. He does have a bit of a plan, but all intuitively because he sees the football field a lot. He looks at player a lot. And so it kind of, gives him a good perspective around the field and kind of gives him these eyes to actually um, plan something intuitively. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very interesting character. Now, we haven't discovered other characters yet. Uh, it may have been, maybe that's one thing that I could criticize aside from the fact that uh, 
they did um, you know the uh, the whole animated uh, part of that goal was not you know the best but that's that's a small detail so yeah I, I don't mean to be you know uh, I don't have a word for that but uh, a bitch so uh, yeah other than that what I might criticize uh, on this episode is uh, the fact that they we weren't able after two episodes to see a little bit just a little bit about other place uh, pl other players sorry it was still focused on the main character and we're still discovering him uh, though it is not the main route for any anime so we will i believe we will get to see that through time so it's all come it all comes down to slow build up and uh just you know building all this anime around football in general like i really love the fact that it's not just about uh an individual as a football player it's not it's not just about that we learn we don't learn just about football and footballers we also learn about recruiting and coaches and a lot of stuff that goes around this uh, this this cruel yet beautiful word so uh yeah i love it i love it so yeah without further ado uh that was the end of the video actually there's no further ado of anything if that okay so yeah anyway thanks again for watching let me know what you think in the comments down below if uh, i have said anything wrong <laughs> come on of course not so uh yeah thank you again for watching and i'll see you next time okay bye